Yo, what's going on? Oh man, this lens is... Now it's got some spittle on it. Good enough, right? The Pixel 8 Pro is out. Been a little late on my review. I sent it over like a week ago and just been playing around with it, having some fun. It's got a bunch of new features on here. And Google put a lot of its attention on the camera this year, which was exactly what I was hoping for. So let's find out how good it is. Repeat after me. Give me that damn intro. Give me that damn intro. Good enough. Resume is a heavy weight, yeah. Put it on my back. Give me everything, yeah. I need, uh, I need everything. I need all of everything, yeah. Now I got a few videos coming on the Pixel 8 Pro, including a comparison against the iPhone 15 Pro Max, a little camera shootout. But being a videographer, for the first video today, I just wanted to focus on that, the video. How does the video look on these things? Because year after year, I'm begging Pixel, add this feature, give me a little bit more of this, hook me up with that, come on Google. And this year, they, they definitely brought some stuff to the table that I'm excited about. And for all you Pixel shooters out there, make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I got a free gift for all you guys, each and every one of you, you all get it. All right, let's check out what this thing can do. All right, right now we're on the 1X camera and we have the DJI mic hooked up right through the USB-C port of the Pixel Pro. What do you guys think? How's the stabilization look? How's the skin tones look? Colors? Now, something that I've been advocating for for years now, every single year that I review a Pixel phone, I beg Google for this and they finally they finally added it. We have 24 frames per second as a normal shooting option in the settings, and I couldn't be happier about it. Little things like that matter. Like I used to say in the past, if you're somebody that wants to mix in your smartphone footage with your real camera footage, and you happen to shoot in 24 frames per second, which a lot of people do, you're not gonna wanna shoot in 30 frames per second on your smartphone and then try to mix that in and then get drop frames. It's just not ideal. So the fact that we have 24 frames per second now in pretty much all the cameras, except for the front facing camera, which I don't know why, Google, if you can include that in an update, that would be really nice. Uh, it's great. That also goes for the ultra wide and the 5X telephoto camera, 24 frames per second, pretty much across the board. Now, just a quick disclaimer for you guys out there, I've been a part of Team Pixel for quite a few years now, and every year Google sends me their new phones, and I'm super appreciative of it, and I love working with Google, and the people that I work with behind the scenes through email, I won't say any names, but cool people, man. Very professional, very thorough, and they get the job done. And I really enjoy being a part of Team Pixel, and I speak for everybody that's a part of Team Pixel when I say this. Google never gives us any type of instructions whatsoever. They don't even give us bullet points in emails like, hey, this is a new feature, like wink, wink, make sure you talk about this in your video. They don't even say make a video about it. They just send us the phones and say enjoy. If you make any content, tag us in it, let us know. Let us know what you think. With that being said, my honest opinion is when it comes to video shooting smartphones, the iPhone 15 Pro lineup is the best in the business right now because of their video capabilities but Google is right there. In my opinion, they have like one or two more features that I'd love to see added into this lineup and we're gonna be right there. So first suggestion is gonna be, we have the 10-bit HDR video in this phone. I don't know about you guys, I don't know anybody that actually loves shooting HDR that knows that they're shooting HDR, that has an option between HDR and normal video. Personally, I don't like HDR. I don't like shooting in it. I don't like color grading it, and I don't even like watching it on an HDR TV. I don't like when shadows are raised up to where you could still see all the details, even in the darkest areas. Filmmakers, real camera people, we like shadows to be shadows. Super bright, super saturated HDR video is not our thing. It doesn't look professional. It looks smartphone-y. So what I would say, my suggestion to Google is, I would kind of skip over the HDR video in 10-bit and give us some kind of log in 10-bit. 
either log or just a flat profile, just something really flat where we have flexibility to grade our footage afterwards. Besides that, all the video capabilities that we have in this phone, in this Pixel 8 Pro, are really great. I'm a professional videographer. Outside of YouTube, all I do is video all day. I shoot weddings, I shoot music videos, I have real estate clients that I shoot properties for. My whole entire world is basically video shooting. And people that are in my world, people that own professional cameras, people that really enjoy video, we don't want a baked in, super saturated, over sharpened look. We want a softer, less saturated, less contrasty look so that we have more flexibility with it in post. Those are my only critiques. Just the fact that we have 24 frames per second added on all the cameras except for the front facing camera at this point is a big win and Google seems like they're trending in the right direction. So out of all the Pixel smartphones that I've ever reviewed, Typically from year to year to year in the video shooting capabilities, it's not a huge leap, but the Pixel 8 Pro is different. They put some effort into it this year. Now we're on the new ultra wide camera. Google updated the ultra wide and the telephoto camera on the Pixel 8 Pro. So what do you guys think? How does it look? We got great sunlight coming in right here, well lit, beautiful scenery behind me. How's the colors look? How's the skin tones look? How's that image stabilization look? Is this heating up on me? Nope. Google phones in the past have had overheating problems when shooting video for long periods of time in 4K, especially 4K60. It's a semi-warm day out today. I dressed a little bit warmer than I should have. I could have probably got away with a t-shirt. It was a little cooler a little earlier, but it's about 65 degrees out. The phone feels cool to the touch. Seems like they squashed the overheating problem. All right, let's switch to the different camera modes. We have the ultra wide. We have the One X. Then we have the two times, which is a digital crop, which on my screen still looks pretty good. And then we can go all the way into 5X, which also looks pretty good right now. All right, now we're in the cinematic mode, which it doesn't say cinematic anymore, it just says blur. And last year when it was first introduced, I was complaining that, hey, we need some kind of adjustment here. We need to be able to adjust the amount of background blur that we have because when it's jacked all the way up and it's just super blurry, it looks incredibly fake. And I don't know if it was me, just like the 24 frames per second that I've been begging for for years now, but Google let us have it. So now we have an adjustment. It's more of like a percentage adjustment. And right now we're at 75%. How does that background blur look? How's the cutout look? You guys let me know what you think. Now, another thing, in this mode, it's still only available in 1080p. We don't have 4K yet. I don't know if that's a processor thing, having to blur the background out and shoot video at the same time, but this is something else that I'd like to see upgraded to 4K. So right now we're at 75%, now let's go to 100%. Now, because I don't have a super busy background behind me and there's a lot of depth behind me, it might actually do a good job and cut me out really good. But if you're in a situation where there's like a bunch of trees or people behind you, your cutout is probably gonna be a little jittery. Again, this is software based and at this point, iPhone, Google, nobody's really doing it perfect right now. I think we still have some time to go before the technology catches up to where these cutouts look super, super real. But right now in a situation like this with a nice shallow background, it might look pretty good. And now it turned down to 50%, which honestly, I have no, this is, I just got this phone today. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday. I missed the package. The guy never came back. So I had to wait an extra day, which sucks. So I don't even know what this footage looks like, but now we're at 50%. I'm imagining that this is going to look a little bit more natural. All right, now we're in the front facing camera, which again, it only goes up to 30 frames per second. No 24 P option here and looks pretty good. Google's always been good with skin tones. They have a nice, they chose a nice shade of tannish peach here for the skin tones and I like it. All right, now what you're listening to is the internal microphones on the Pixel 8 Pro this entire time. Before this, I've been recording with the DJI wireless microphone plugged directly into the USB-C port. So as it sound, mic check one, two, mic check one, two. One thing I forgot to mention, Google, that I really wanna see added, and this can be added immediately, please, if you can. I'd like to see a preserve settings option in the settings on this camera app because if you shoot in 24p chances are you're never going to shoot in 30p and if you shoot in 30p chances are you're never going to be shooting in 24p it's going to be 30 and 60 or 24 and 60 
guarantee that. And I find myself setting it up in 24 frames per second, but then if I switch camera modes or close out the camera app and then come back to the camera app, it switches it back to 30 frames per second and I have to go back into settings and switch it back over to 24 frames per second. So that I would definitely like to see added in an update like immediately. I think that's, I think that's reasonable. So all of those shots that you just saw were the first test that I've ever done with this phone. And I didn't get the chance to see the results until right now. And they look pretty good. Skin tones look great. Google has been giving us really nice skin tones over the last few years in both photo and video. And this year is no different. They look really good. Vlogging on the main One X camera on the back, I noticed a good amount of natural background blur. Not in the blur mode, just actual depth of field it was it did all right it looked pretty good the new ultra wide and 5x cameras looked really good also and even the blur mode seemed like it did a noticeably there were definitely some improvements there it did a noticeably better job but we do have that intensity slider in there now and very much welcomed honestly though these are the best results i've gotten out of a pixel phone by far like from the six to the seven not really a big leap it's kind of like the same results but from the 7 Pro to the 8 Pro, in my opinion, definitely a big jump in image quality and performance. And again, for somebody that shoots 24 frames per second, everything, you notice it. You notice just the way the whole image looks when you're shooting in 24 frames per second versus 30. It's just the difference. And people that shoot 24p know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the image is a little bit oversaturated for my taste, just a little, little bit, little bit, little bit heavy splash on that saturation there. Luckily, like I told you guys before, I got a free gift for you guys. I've been giving out free LUTs for the last month and a half on all my videos, and I'm gonna make a LUT for the Google Pixel 8 Pro, and I'm sure it'll probably work with the Pixel 7 Pro if you got one of those. I'm just gonna go in there and fine tune those colors a little bit, turn down the saturation a little bit, make it have a little bit more of a natural look. So if you guys own a Pixel 8 Pro or a 7 Pro, and you want this free LUT, you're gonna make sure you subscribe to this channel, take a screenshot, of you being subscribed to this channel and then dm me on instagram at anthony lapani send me a screenshot of that dm and if you want to follow me on instagram for bonus points i'll allow it just say hey here for the free lot love your work buddy keep pushing You're my favorite youtuber can i get that free lot pack now and I'll say, sure, thank you. Thank you very much for your support. Here you go, here's the link. On that note, I am definitely impressed by the video quality coming out of the Pixel 8 Pro this year, and I'm happy to see that Google made it a main focal point of development cameras, the video side of things. Great job, Google. Just like every year, thank you, Google, for sending over the Pixel 8 Pro. I appreciate you guys very highly, and this is by far my favorite, my favorite, yeah. I'm not a colorful guy. Don't know how I feel about the blue. It is kind of growing on me though. It has a nice finish to it. Very nice build quality. Love the flat screen this year too. I'm over these curved screens, man. So this is a nice, you know, black would have been nice, <clears throat> but I, I get it. This is, the, this is the color we're pushing this year. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time. Don't forget to sub. All that good stuff. Thumbs up too. Throw, throw some thumbs up in there. All right, I'm I'm going. I'll see you guys later. All over. The face unlock is very, very good on this phone. You know why doesn't Apple have that? Yes, Apple has the best face unlock in the game. Google's is very good this year. Very good, and we got the in, in, on the. Uh, uh, we got the in-screen, under-display fingerprint sensor, which I wish we can get some kind of fingerprint sensor back here, maybe in the power button or in display. But you know what? I love that you can have the Pixel set up to where you don't have to swipe up. There's a little tab in the settings that you can click and say, hey, just unlock the phone for me. I don't have to swipe up once it 
unlocks. So check it out. Boom, boom, it just unlocks. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room. Meanwhile, I'm over here stuck in the hallway with my iPhone, and I gotta swipe up every time. Every time I gotta do the swiping. I'm, I'm all, my freaking thumb is gonna get arthritis over here. I like this phone, man. This is a really nice phone. The interface too. I really, really like the animations on the Pixel phones. They just, everything is just so smooth. iPhones are getting like repetitive. Let's, let's update some of these animations here. It's the fluidity. It's the same as like the iPhone 5. Meanwhile, the Pixel, it's just, everything is just so smooth. It's a nice phone. Hmm. Are you guys still here? What the hell are you doing? I, I said salute and everything. You're still here, huh? Why are you guys still here? Okay, what do you want to do? Just chill? Or what? I could do it. I could do it. Shooting upstairs today. I never use this. I got a whole studio up here and I always shoot in my, my dining room. It's crazy, huh? Yeah, it is. I like that shelf that I got in the other room. Big wood shelf with all the decorated. It looks nice. So what's up with you guys? Anything new? No? All right, you outlasted me. I'm going to go. See you guys later. Love you. Another salute.